Hey everyone, this is Geeky Pen here, right guys, with another video. Now this time we're going to be checking out The Wolf's Bite on Steam. Now, the creators of the game uh, sent me a code uh, la late last month in August, and I wanted to do this earlier, but I didn't have the time. I was very busy doing other stuff, and I got a little sick and busy with work. So now, I'm finally able to sit down and play the game. So this game is basically a point-and-click storyline uh, based game about the big bad wolf wanting to turn over a new leaf and start a restaurant. But his past reputation is definitely still there and the three little piggies that he harassed definitely got another thing coming to him. So with that as okay I'm like I got like a little thing on hold on. <sighs> yeah much better. It was a cough drop I had because I kept constantly coughing so this is a two-player game, a uh, competitive game, but I guess I'm by myself, it's going to be one player, so. And I will be the wolf, and these pigs can go to hell! These are just pigs! But I don't, they don't know any better. They don't know any better. So with that, wolf, let us make some food. I will try to do voices and have make things interesting. After failing to thrive in the highly competitive residential demolition industry, mostly due to difficulties dealing with brick construction because, yeah, they went there. The Big Bad Wolf decided it was time for a career change. Unable to resist the law of entrepreneurship, he decided to enter the restaurant business. Okay. The three little piggies, dissatisfied with their free sample demolitions, are conspiring against the Big Bad Wolf and his new restaurant, The Wolf's Bite. The whole village turned out for the grand opening. Will the Big Bad Wolf finally launch a successful entrepreneur enterprise? Or the three little piggies throw up a metaphorical brick wall and stop him? Thus, next time on Dragon Ball Z. So it's my time to play because I am the wolf, so this is the town right here. Um, whatever I do in the town could help increase my reputation, more money, or the quality of my food. The star is right here, represents the quality. My reputation is here, and this is how much money I got to spare. So, I'm trying to make this the best thing I can do. So, first and foremost, let me start off in the restaurant and let me work in front because if I'm working in front of the house, I need, I need to show people, hey, this is my new restaurant. I'm leading the charge the first day. Let's do this. So, okay. You spend the day greeting the guests and waiting tables. Your customers appreciate the visible efforts you are making to ensure uh, they have a pleasant experience. Seeing happy customers running around for hours on end is worth it. The Wolf Bites gains one quality. Humpty Dumpty, the world famous food and uh, restaurant critic, has decided to dine in the Wolf's Bites. Faced with such an important but unexpected opportunity, you have to think quickly to impress him to ensure a good review. Okay, he's a food critic, I think. You need to leverage your strengths of what you will do. Okay, let's see here. Um. What can I do? I can man the service. So, again, this is concentrating on steak and egg. Oh, God. Steak and... Yeah. Giving Humpty Dumpty steak and eggs is not really the point I want to do. Breakfast for dinner. You know, I'm going to man the service. Because, again, I, I am manning the front of house. So I got to make sure this is a... Well played operation. I will man the service right here. Food is only the third of the meal and your chefs are top notch, so that shouldn't be an issue. Good service is difficult to find and you will never know if these pesky pigs are amongst your waitstaff for the night. Oh yes, my dear wolf, this has been a lovely evening. Simply lovely. The food was the delight and being serviced by the owners always shows commitment to quality not seen in most places. Mmm. I look forward to giving you a glowing review in my next article. What? I have to- it's a food critic. I have to add a little finesse. You know, it's not like Yelp or anything like that. Or, which that South Park episode is hilarious, by the way. Those spites gain two quality. Oh, yes, this is good. So I just upped my quality here. So now the pigs, what are they going to do, huh? Hmm, if only I can drink a drink that will help my voice. I wonder what that drink could be. Oh god, train a restaurant operations. Oh lordy! You spend the day getting a deeper understanding of how the restaurant is operate and the business side of things. Gusep has no idea how helpful this will be to your search for weakness in the wolf's new business. The wolf bite loses one quality. Oh. Screw you! 
The pigs, eager to increase their standing with the saboteur community, decide to get some extra credit to impress Sh Seamus. The next day, time they take class. Executing a food swap, but unsuspecting, albeit challenging Mark seems the right tack. Who should the pigs sabotage? Okay. Wow! Really? You want to be the dick move already? Executing sabotage at the warp spot will not only give you some extra credit, but also practice sabotaging on site during meal service. You decided to swap all of the Italian sausage with Kelbasa and the ethnic origin of the e uh, evening's menu. Fortunately for the wolf, tonight's guests are Ko- Oh god. I'm not even- I'm not even going to attempt this. No. I'm not attempting this. Yeah. Orchestra. The unplanned Polish-Italian mashup was a huge hit. Actually, Piogi's is really good and it's a Polish thing and Italian food- Italian cuisine itself is really always awesome. Uh, spaghetti, pizza, lasagna. Uh, I always like Alfredo and stuff, so. The Wolf Spites gains one quality. Ha 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 ha! You gonna get it, pigs. You try to screw me over, but it ended up working out in my favor. So, back up that quality. Okay. Famous food critic. Oh, food critic is kind of the town. Gus Fiori has caught wind of the intriguing surroundings of the Wolf Spites and would like to feature it on his show, Restaurants, Taverns, and Barns. Will the episode be about redemption or revenge? Only time will tell. Okay, so... I played good here. Now, the community still fears me because I was the big bad wolf, so it's time to introduce some community making taxes here. What do we got here? The neighborhood, Culinary Institute, Grocery Store, City Hall, the bad side of town, or the witch signs. Um, let's go with the neighborhood here. What do we got? Deliver food to the LD, neighborhood watch. You know what? Deliver food to the LD is always a good call, so I'm going to do that. So with this... Bringing food, good food, to good people who cannot get it themselves is just good business. Philanthropy strengthens your standing in the community and will ultimately draw in more business. This makes sense and sense. You, I have, the wolf gains one reputation and the wolf fights gains one quality. Mysterious chemical spill spilled at Farmer Jones' peanuts farm not too far from the neighborhood. This chemical caused the peanuts to escape from their shells and attack unwary visitors, often hiding in shoes and irregularly but harmlessly nibbling on feet. Their leader, General Li Gun, is willing to negotiate a treaty. You will need all your cunning to outthink his narcissistic nut. Offer them jobs at the well bite, offer them a ride uh, in your tilt a whirl. If they're willing to play, I could offer them a job to help boost my ranks. Because this is basically freeloading, but it could stop. And, well, this is a treaty, so they're expecting something out of this. So if I give them the free dinner, that'll possibly stop their attacks. Because if I'm offering a job, that's like, oh, why are we working for you? I'm not going to offer them a job. Most people see spinets as a problem. However, you bustle, uh, bustle of directionless, misunderstood almost, uh, misunderstood almost people. With enough of them working in concert, certain chores such as taking out the trash and washing dishes can be delegated. Unfortunately, everything that touches on a slightly peanutty flavor, slightly tainting your food. The wolf gains reputation but loses one quality. Okay. <sighs> reputation up, quality down a little bit, but no worries. I'm still in good standing. I'm at, I think, 2.5. So this is slightly still working out in my favor. Put it. <laughs> Gonna go with witchcraft. Of all things, you can just go with witchcraft. Like, just try to put a hex on me. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, let's see here. Um, well, no longer wicked per se, the witch still gets kicks out of magical pranks like hexes. And the gold is, well, gold. Well, can't like that. Be careful though, magic is uh, capri... capri... I'm not even gonna attempt. It's, it's, it's bad. I can backfire. There we go. The wolf bite loses one quality and the wolf loses one reputation, but the pig loses one health. Okay, oh, come on. If there's one thing the witch has plenty of, it's Toad's Breath. She boasts the biggest collection of Toad's Breath in the city and she's fiercely protective of it. But if you were to get your hands on it, let's just say the wolf's pasta is going to taste a whole lot toadier. But still, the Toad's Breath worth the risk. If the wo if witch catches you, the toes will be the least of your concerns. <clears throat> oh, they're going to do a smash and grab. Oh, oh no, you screwed up. You screwed up. Stealing seems like the better approach, but the pigs are greedy. It's still more than just Toad's Breath. Oh, you did. The witch noticed her inventory was decimated, and as punishment, the witch turned the pigs into newts. Fortunately for them, she didn't throw them into, <laughs> into a potion. Unfortunately for them, the antidote is quite expensive. The pigs lose two wealth and two reputation. Okay, good. 
So they tried to screw me, but I'm just... Mm. So the witch, hey, come on, you got my back, right? Turns out the wolf wasn't blowing the hot air when he talked about his new restaurant, the wolf's by Early reviews from local diners have been positive, and it looks like the wolf may have found a niche. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I worked, I did the neighborhood. Uh, what's also a good thing? The menu's always good, but let's check out the grocery store. Shopping for ingredients and promoting a restaurant. Let's go... Let's promote my restaurant here. We're trying to get more people... Or shopping for ingredients, too. I can... Um, you know, go shopping for ingredients here. So, you can't run a restaurant without things to cook. A trip to the store provides you all the ingredients you need to cook up enough food to feed an army. You eventually manage to negotiate a discount. There we go. That's a good thing. The wolf bite gains one quality. Therefore, there have been rumors that they're putting on free cooking classes at the grocery to motivate people to cook for themselves instead of eating at your restaurant. Perhaps you can uh, have an anti-cooking class and impress the store patrons with the secret recipes they've never been able to recreate at home. <clears throat> if successful, nobody will want to eat at home again. Palea, plum pudding, or crucible fried chicken curry. It's curry. So it has to be good, right? Curry it is! The crowd approaches the wolf with a much curiosity on the sight of his repurposed crucible and scent of spice. Come now, if you're braver than nothing, challenge your taste buds with the spiciest of flavored dishes or dish in the kingdom. The crowd is oohed and odd, and the strange device begins to use to cook and char the chicken. Wolfie! Uh, hold on. Wolfie, this is delicious! It's so spicy, yet not overly so. I have come for a proper portion post haste. With that, several shoppers have actually abandoned their grocery laden carts and headed towards a restaurant. <laughs> Wolfie Spites gains one quality and one reputation. That is good. Oh my god, yes. That is what I definitely needed. So the pigs seem to be sucking right now, so let's see if I can keep this going here. If I can ride this tail to success. Where are you going? Don't. They're gonna. Haven't they figured it out already that if you if you screw over the witch, the witch ain't gonna be none too happy? Okay, I already did this. I already did this. Okay. Uh, oh, fall asleep. You don't want to put too much. If you slip a few wedges into the wolf's apple pie, you can make the customers doze off for a bit. This is risky, though if you use too much, you can put unwitting patrons into a coma. But that's the right amount of mere drowsiness. Oh, God. Two poison apple wedges. Success! This poison is strong enough that anyone who tries the wolf's apple pie immediately falls into sleep or two hour doors right at their table. The wolf cannot wake them up anything, so he forced uh, to let them stay at the tables, limiting his available seating. Business is slow, and he's more fresher than you've seen him in weeks. Okay, wait, I lose one wolf, but I didn't lose quality or reputation. It's good. Word is spreading of the culinary vision of the wolf's bite. The new recipes introduced today uh, by the day seems to be no ends of wolf's culinary cunning. This two days curry is already one of the hottest. Uh, that's good. Okay. I, I got this. Right now I'm doing really good, so. Uh, what is the city hall? Let's check this out. Lobby or cater? Cater, I can help possibly uh, get more people to know, but. You know, let's lobby here. Let's do this good. Small businesses is like the wolf bites are backbone to any thriving community and economy. You spend the day using a charm and political savvy networking with the city council members and the mayor himself. <laughs> Look at the mayor, he's like, Yes, you're a wolf. Please don't eat me. You may not impact the legislation, but you might snag a few more catering gigs. The wolf gains one reputation and one quality. That's good. Oh, that's good. Ooh! To the excitement of the entire town, the Empire's Rice was annual visit, fully clothed this time, of course. What did you do last time? Were you just enough clothed for your, you know, <laughs> for the thing down there? <clears throat> Being an avid of food, it is mad simple of the finest cuisine the town has to offer. You graciously volunteer your dishes, the best to analyze. But what do you serve a man of such disconcerting taste? Okay. Um. <sighs> this imperial poor duck and sounds good, but it's two different meats. Pork and duck. I think that's what it's trying to go for. Sp spaghetti bolognese and pork rillets. You know, spaghetti's good, right? Spaghetti anyone can really enjoy. So why not spaghetti, right? It's nice, it's easy, it's good. You know what? Spaghetti! It was a wise choice sticking to what you know best. The meal has gone off without a single hitch. Afterwards, the emperor personally thanks you for a lovely, if slightly predictable, dining experience. His favor earns one reputation. <laughs> Look at the wolfies right there. It's like, that's it? That's it? I'm not gonna die today? Okay.
Okay, so reputation is up there, things is up there. I could try going, to, you know. What are you? No. No, 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 no. Everyone knows the Big Bad Wolf used to live down here. My spray painting is the baddest wolf tag. People not only be reminded of his criminal past, but may also make him question his new public appearance as Duke a small business owner. Focus on the brick walls. We know you, we can't knock those down. The wolf loses one rep. After moving to several pounds of candy, the candy cook Heisen. Oh, God. I see what you did there. Do I want to say his name, though? Say my name. Gentlemen, we are doing a uh, doing well on the bad side of town, but I'm building an empire. Oh, God. Really, Heisenberg? Really? You're goddamn right. I like you three to push the sugar in other parts of town. What do you say? Oh God! It's on the neighbor. It's on the wolf bite. Really? Near me? Ooh! Nobody wants to buy candy on the way to the rest. They said it would ruin their appetite. Oh! Oh, you have to liquidate the inventory another way, otherwise you'll end up in Heisenberg's block. <laughs> yes, the piglet's too at the one rotation. Okay. Uh, camera crew spotting to do a wolf spite. Oh, thank you, God. So this is the camera crew. Uh, good angles and recruiting potential uh, potential interviewees. The buzz goes to Gus' appearance at the end of the week as renewed strength the presence of his crew with reports of fainting and swimming. That is awesome. So... Uh, my reputation took a little hit, so uh, let's check this out. Bad side of town. Ooh, mentor the youth is good. Cooking classes for adults is also good. What about the barn? Tend the ball. Oh, wow. That's okay. That's a party place. Culinary Institute. Train and ring cuisine. So train restaurant ownership. Hmm. I need to impress my reputation a bit more, so I'm going to mentor the youth here. As a former resident of the rough and tumble streets of Bad Side, the town, your success as a serial entrepreneur positions you as a role model for today's kids. Teaches them the benefits of ownership and self-discipline, paid the dividends as today's kids will become tomorrow's adults, the Wolf Bites patrons. The Wolf gains one reputation. Too much surprise as a restaurant on the bad side of town. May as well scout the competition to see how much challenge they represent to your market share. You probably want to disguise yourself, but uh, it's not obvious what you're doing. Which disguise will be doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. No! No way! Oh my god. Okay, this is too... That's too obvious. The granny costume's like, oh god. The collie disguise. If people find out I'm the granny, that's gonna... That's effed up. That is so fucking... <sighs> the collie dis... I could go with the collie disguise, because again, if, the, if they found out it was me in the granny suit, they'd be like, YOU'RE DOING THIS AGAIN! And this is just way too suspicious of Kali disguise. Hoping to leverage your canine command, at least you hire, you hire a hair and makeup artist to make your resemble Kali. For four hours in the chair, you're ready to infiltrate the diner, only to find out it's closed an hour ago. <clears throat> Instead of you, your family's decided to take the road and head over to the barn. Okay. <coughs> oh, I see here. It's the bar, but uh, the nine at the end. The wolf is one wolf and one rotation. Oh, God, I should have uh, did the grandma costume. Damn it! You know what? I don't care. I... I shouldn't worry. My rep's up. Oh, they're at the grocery store. Smear campaign against... Oh, God. Again with the smear campaign. The store gets tons of foot traffic and a perfect audience for a smear campaign against the wolf's fight. Pamphlets and pickets, other weapons in this battle for public sentiments. And you wield them with great effect. The wolf's fight loses one quality. Oh, screw you. The wolf supply is on vacation, meaning the wolf has to use the grocery store in order to keep uh, his pantry stocked. This creates weakness and exploit the while innocently stocking up for ourselves. Well, if we buy out more key ingredients, the wolf will be left in lurch. Which uh, purchase will be the most effective? Oh, you're getting the seasoning. Oh, Jesus Christ. I got salt. That's some. Oh! Oh! Oh, barbecue, baby! It turns out, it turns out the wolf is doing a barbecue theme today and doesn't need herbs as badly as we hoped. Maybe we can make a festive holiday reese for our cousins in the menu farm. The pigs lose one health. Oh, God. Okay, thank you, God. The wolf's fight, the wolf's fight has set culinary world ablaze with revolutionary recipes like the crispy fr uh, fried chicken curry. There's enough delicious into an entire family, a part of a... Uh, Particularly 100 VIP. We recommend you to make reservations soon before the gust effect makes lines even longer. So with this, the restaurant's doing good. I'm getting good reputation. So now, 
what is next on the playing list here? Um, I helped out the kids. I've done that. Let's go to Culinary Institute and let's train. I'll train and own restaurant. <clears throat> you know what? Training and restaurant ownership. We gotta learn how the business works in order to make this work. You could be a really good cook, a really good chef, but or a really good front of house. But if you don't know how it works, then you're in trouble. So, train and restaurant ownership. You spend uh, the days discussing the nuances and challenges of owning and operating restaurants. Goose sips. Wait. I see what you did there. I'm like, wait. Wait, no, 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 no. I see what you did there. Uh, Gooseps, business, a come, and mentorship will help you run a more f efficient and profitable restaurant. The wolf gains one wealth. The Muffin Man is conducting his... Oh. It's the Muffin Man. Wasn't expecting you to be here. The Muffin Man is conducting a surprise baking seminar at the Culinary Institute. It's best requested your attendance. What are you going to do? <sighs> okay. Make up my own recipe. No. I can either follow the recipe, which... If I do it with a slight twist, it might offend him. He's doing a culinary seminar here. I can learn from him, so don't piss off the guy. Follow the recipe. The Muffin Man is impressed. Oh boy, the only thing sweeter than a joy of learning new skills is your cheesecake. You'll save a ton of money on baking your own breads and dessert. Oh, oh, oh. God, that made him sound so weird. Bulls by gain one quality and gains four wealth. Excellent. So I got more money. I got and qualities here. So pigs. Okay. So right now the pigs are getting screwed over here hard. So what are you? Wait. Okay. Visit the pig's house. What are you gonna do with the pig's house? A respite from hustle and bustle in the town to sabotage, in particular, is much needed and much deserved. You decide to spend some time at home with and rest a little. Your absence is not unnoticed, as they say absence makes the hut grow fonder. While you relax, the town gets a chance to miss you. The pigs gains one reputation. You decide to start a garage rock band. If things go well, you can become world famous musicians, become rich, and bow the wolf's spider and kick the wolf out of the curb. If things go poorly, at least you'll be super loud and annoying to the wolf. <coughs> yeah. It's possible to uh, it's possible two winning scenarios here. Now all you need is a band name, maybe a gimmick. What do you got here? Purple pig, first custom back, squeal heavy metal. Arguably the loudest and angriest style of music. Oh my god. This, this, the style was surprisingly challenging to learn, but heavy metal is just as loud as good heavy metal when you have 4,000 watts of skull shattering speak power. Nobody was sleeping in the neighborhood when the black squeal <laughs> Black asleep took a toll on the wolf's ability to perform at work. Unfortunately, you are also taking it from noise violation. One quality and one wealth. Okay, I've been like battling this quality wealth. Over the moon with filming restaurants, uh, taverns, and bars. So to begin tomorrow, well, uh, we couldn't be happier for our very own wolf. From the rough and tumble streets on the bad side of town to failed demolition business, now a successful entrepreneur, restaurant entrepreneur. Ugh. He made everyone proud. Well-deserved bump featuring seems to be a happy ending for this tale of redemption. Okay, I am I am close. I am hitting up all the stops here. What do I want to do? <clears throat> you know what? Let's go to City Hall again, and let me do catering this time. So I'm going to cater to these people. Papa Wolf once said, Don't make any big decisions on an empty stomach! <laughs> <coughs> Nobody makes bigger de nobody makes bigger decisions than the politicians at City Hall. Some delicious pastries with your logo prominently displayed on the wrapper should help the city council perform at the top of the game while getting your name in front of the city moves and shakers. The wolf spite gains one quality. At the outside court, a smartly dressed woman with raven hair braces up to you. To your surprise, a flurry of wooden creatures follow close behind. Snow White, uh, the Snow White of White and Red Law Office at your service. Well, I've no well, I noticed you haven't yet attached a lawyer to your restaurant. I can give you some sound advice. Drop context represent your court if need be for a small fee, of course. <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna hire her because I do have the money, and I'm gonna do it with a retainer. So, hire with retainer. Very smart, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> With us on retainer, everyone will avoid mess <clears throat> messing with you in uh, in courts of law. Please do feel free to drop us 
a line in any time for any legal questions you may have. The wolf loses one wolf against your expectation. That's good, because I have money. I can do this. Okay, pigs. What are you gonna do? I know you're gonna try to screw me over somehow. Don't! Oh, come on, guys. He's gonna break in my home. If you can't beat him, Jesus. By messing with the wolf's home, life will be more irritable and more stressed and less focused work while without his home. Serves him right for unsoliciting residential demolition fees and samples. Wolf loses one wealth, enhancing his home security. The big's Brusson, uh, cousin Napoleon is town and wants to show a good time. It's very important to keep him occupied since he tends to become destructive and goes on hand-pages. Hand He's only in town for one night. What are you going to do? Oh, God. Take it. Oh, really? You're going to get him drunk and do more destruction? Seriously? And he's a boar? Oh no, this can't be good. After a few whiskey snouts, he goes drunk enough to cause a ruckus, but not drunk enough to pass out. On oh, swimming, Hatmage was one of the biggest. He even beat up the. Oh my god, this guy is off. One wealth and one reputation due to his outburst. Damn! Taking a bite out of the big name. Local celebrity Wolf was featured in a special hour long restaurants, taverns, and bars. Who is likely most of the highest rated episodes in the long running series? Gus Fiore is not only exposed food, but also the sole restaurant and his culinary master. Please, please do the next one on the show airs. I did it! The Wolf's rose prominence places singing in the kingdom. Despite the pig's financially rumptious attempts to thwart the Wolf's business and the restaurants uh, has thrived, even voted best place to work. Further height did this thing crash? Oh my god, I'm like, did this thing crash? Further hiding its uh, status regardless of which side of the uh, check you're on. With the savings rapidly depleted, the pigs decide to stop finding and become good employees. Oh! Can't beat him, join him, baby! The wolf too consumed, withering his business and mastering cat beef, his uh, vindictive decided to give them a chance. Sergey became an accountant and was able to save the restaurant 5% on its taxes. Stinky took over custodial duties that had placed a good spick and span. Binky took on waiting tables and came up with a way to reduce kitchen to table time by 3% resulting in boost in revenues. All the pigs did exceptionally well. Employee of the month was awarded to Wolf for having the foresight to hire such a dentist. Oh man, that's a dick move. Wow, that... That was good. I was... I was, I was definitely surprised there because I'm like... Uh, I love the quirkiness and style, and I really like it. you can do multiple playthroughs, and it's always like different options, basically. So it's not like the same thing over and over again. No, it's gonna mix it up a little bit differently here. So, with that though, um, so far I definitely recommend it. It's only eight dollars, and I, I love the style. I love that it's like a tale of redemption, and the pigs are just trying to screw the wolf over. With that. Post down in the comment box how you guys think of this Let's Play. Do you want to see me do Let's Plays of other any titles? Please post it down there. Also, don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd like to thank the developers for giving me a copy of the game and checking it out for my, my Let's Play videos. I'm going to give them a big shout out there. If you want to check out the game for yourself, uh, this, uh, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for it, including the website and Steam page. Also, if you want to help support this channel, you can check out my Patreon page. And if you really want to, you know, donate and everything will go back towards this channel to help make it better. So this is Geek Man here. I'm out. Stay geeky, my friends.